my vision when setting up the Dementia Research Center and bringing together this team was to create a vibrant environment where we can do cutting edge research, uh, make new discoveries and translate these discoveries into uh, treatment for real people. So we examine clinically and pathologically well characterised brain tissue that we source from national and international brain centres and we develop preclinical models within the, the centre itself and we can use these to really look at the selective and regional vulnerabilities within these disorders and preclinical models. So what we do is we try and um, have a centralised core of research support staff. We have about between 12 to 15 research support staff that each have um, their individual area of expertise. And what we are um, hoping to do is that this area can then be expanded to all other research groups within the centre. So in this way, we can better maximise the research funding that comes with, um, to our centre. So the environment for research at the Dementia Research Centre is uh, generally uh, really supportive. The lab operations team is uh, really attentive to our needs and as a direct result of that, uh, I've been able to collaborate with other teams uh, within the uh, level more broadly. I think it's a very fostering environment. We have a lot of very senior researchers from a few different areas. So no matter what you're gonna have to do, someone has probably done it. So we always find someone who you can ask for advice or help. But we try to find mechanisms how we can repair aspects of the brain in dementia pathology. And we have a number of systems that we can use, for example, this live cell imaging system to really monitor changes in nerve cells, how they behave in the disease and what we can do to these cells to improve disease outcome. So we use the mice so that we can study the earlier time points, we can study the onset and progression of disease and see what's going on in the brain, which we can't do in patients. Um, we use a battery of different behavioural tests to look at um, different aspects of dementia. So we can do motor testing, um, behavioural testing and cognitive testing. So we use the Elevator Plus maze, which is um, a test that assesses anxiety and disinhibition behaviour, which are common symptoms also found in dementia patients. So it allows us actually to dissect the symptoms that we also see in the human disease. We also use um, the water maze, which is a memory test, and EEG, which allows us to directly assess brain activity, one of which is actually our operand chamber. So this is a touchscreen chamber that allows um, to assess memory functioning, and this is actually also used um, in humans. What we do is mostly based on a process that is called microinjection. So what you see is microinjection where um, we take the very early stage embryo, the one cell stage embryo, and we induce genetic modification with this one cell stage. So when the embryo develops, it eventually carries the exact same mutations that you can find within um, humans. I think mostly I would recommend the DSC because of its variety of things that we do. A lot of options to gain knowledge across all the different subdisciplines within neuroscience. Our end goal is to develop one or possibly more therapies that could um, treat or reduce the symptoms of dementia and look in the far future we hope to develop something that could actually prevent it uh, at all to happen. So the Dementia Research Centre has opportunities for undergraduate and postgraduate research projects and we can guide you throughout your research career.